things from suicide attempts. It gets pretty bad on here. It definitely should not be a site. This should be up. It's bad. It's bad. Uh, what's Hi. Hello. The website Omegle has been linking up random strangers for video chats for years. But since the pandemic began, it's exploded in popularity worldwide, fueled by viral videos on mainstream social networks. On TikTok alone, there are now more than 9 billion views of videos about Omegle. It's a site that claims to be moderated, but has a reputation for being unpredictable and unsafe. I've been on it for 10 minutes and I've probably seen like 20 guys, you know. Men pleasuring themselves is a common occurrence. In one two hour period during our BBC investigation, we were paired at random with 12 masturbating men, eight naked males and seven porn adverts. The site has no age verification in place and we found dozens of under 18s, some children as young as seven or eight. And it's not just adults doing explicit things. When we searched for chats using a generic sexual keyword, we were also paired twice with seemingly prepubescent boys masturbating. One of them identified himself as 14 years old. We ended both chats swiftly and reported the incidents to the relevant authorities. But the Internet Watch Foundation, a charity working to eliminate child sexual abuse imagery online, says it's concerned. It says the site's being used by predators to gather self-generated child abuse material. We do see content that's been generated uh, on the website Omegle. The content that we see, um, quite shockingly, ranges um, right through to um, individuals um, self-penetrating um, um, on, on, on webcam. And this type of activity is going on in a household, um, often where we know that parents are present because there are conversations that you can hear, you know, even children being you know, asked to come down for tea. One parent in the north of England told us that her eight-year-old daughter was nearly coerced into sexual activity on the site last month. My daughter had seen some videos go viral on TikTok about people being on Omegle, so she explored the site. These people were coming on and saying she was beautiful, hot, sexy. She told them that she was only eight years old and they were okay with that. She witnessed a man masturbating and another man wanted to play Truth or Dare. She thought it was just a, an innocent game, but he was asking her to shake a bum, take a top off and her trousers, which thankfully she didn't do. In recent months, police forces, schools and cyber authorities around the world have issued warnings against Omegle, but the website continues to surge in popularity. In the last year, traffic has ballooned from 34 million visits to an estimated 65 million visits a month. The site's grown particularly in the US, UK, India and Mexico. Lily and her friend, who was on FaceTime with her, are 16 years old. Yeah, she said one in 10 conversations is actually normal, she reckons. Where did we hear about it? TikTok, yeah, through TikTok. Yeah, it was a few months ago our friends started using it and then we started just using it for like funny, like but there's weird men on that. <laughs> yeah, loads of them. TikTok says its safety teams are continuing to monitor Omegle content on their platform and have not found any offensive or illegal material. The company also said that as a result of our investigation, it's banned any direct web links to the website. We tried to speak to Omegle, but there's no way to contact the website. Leif K. Brooks, who's based in the US, created the site when he was 18 and is still the owner, so we tried to track him down. He has no active social network accounts and it took several attempts through a separate company he founded called Octane AI to get a response. He said in an email that Omegle is moderated and in fact he's increased moderation in the last year, removing users who appear to be under 13 years old. But many of the people we spoke to on the site say that it's not moderated enough. Uh, this is not a platform. The students or children should be here. There should be some moderator out there keeping an eye on everyone. Mr. Brooks also claims to have removed the ability to search for the generic sexual keyword we used. We weren't able to verify this and he didn't reply to any follow-up questions. I have met quite a few really nice people on here, but for a site that's so low managed and not really monitored, it, it really shouldn't be up.